Good morning everyone and welcome to Dumaguete City. Let's go! This is our last day today guys and for today we are going to buy some pasalubong kasi we still have the whole day to spend here in this beautiful town dahil gabi pa naman yung flight natin and if you don't know yet Dumaguete has one of the best pasalubong centers they have the best pastries they have the best handicrafts so yun yung mga pupuntahan natin today and we will also try to visit Siliman University kaya tara samahan niyo ako but first let's have some breakfast let's go If you think about it, parang okay na explore in Dumaguete ng one day lang. Especially if you're traveling only to Siquijor and then you have a spare time in Dumaguete, it's fine. Kasi marami ka lang pwede magawa in one day. But I suggest that you visit the city and explore more of the town. There is so much to do here but my favorite thing to do is just to chill, people watch, go to the boulevard, eat a lot, a lot of eating. the Starbucks in Rizal Boulevard here in Dumaguete and I figured we should visit here because I saw it last night it was so beautiful and I was right in the morning or in daylight mas maganda siya white yung aesthetic niya and the view from the second floor it is one of the most beautiful things I've seen if I live here in Dumaguete I would stay here all the time napakaganda ng view it's nice for people watching and by the way I got ice caramel macchiato this is for John. We are here at the pin store. It's an art shop here in Dakong Balay. By the way, guys, Dakong Balay means malaking bahay or big house. It's just beside Starbucks and across the boulevard or along the Rizal Boulevard. And it is a store with a lot of souvenirs made by local artists. It has paintings, it has stickers, anything that you might want to think of possibly nandito. Apparently, they have second floor before that serves as a museum or an art gallery but it's now gone because Starbucks is expanding but if you want to get your local souvenirs made by the local artists here in Negros then you can get it here sa babalang sa my printstore.ph For our next pasalubong stop, we are here at Handumanan. It's right at my back. If you're looking for handicrafts, mga locally made bags, mga keychains, mga accessories. This is your place. It is just located here in downtown and near the Lee Supermarket which is by the way pupuntahan din natin namaya for Mercy. And dito muna tayo. Check muna natin kung ano yung pwede nating mabili dito. Pwede pang pasalubong or pwede for your own. Yung mga gamit pala nila dito is locally sourced daw. So tara, let's check it out. For our next stop, we are here at Bongbongs. It's inside Robinson's Dumaguete. Nag-check lang ako 15 pesos from downtown. And I am so happy kasi sobrang laki ng brunch na to. And ang dami mo pwedeng mapamili. Papakita ko sa inyo isa-isa. What I'm most happy about is I saw Napoleones and yung bagong luto na piyaya. Those are two of my favorites. So this is how the store looks like. It's super nice, parang pabrika ng mga sweet space trees. And yan, sobrang dami nyo mapagpipilian. Cheese tart, barquillos, pastillas, makapuno, butterscotch, napoleones, piaya. But I suggest ang kunin nyo is piaya and napoleones. Well, that's just me. Yun yung favorite ko kasi. Pero ang dami nyo options dito. For our next stop, we are here at San Servalis sa Robinson's Place, Dumaguete. And the reason why we're here is because I wanted to try the Napoleones already kasi sabi ni ate doon, mas better daw siya if eaten already after getting it kasi mas masarap daw siya ng malamig kasi if it gets hot, matutunaw yung parang um, toppings niya. And then, 
yung piyaya naman na kinuha din natin na bagong luto, masarap siya kapag mainit. So, I opted to dine sa San Serval na. Ang original plan was to dine sa San Serval sa May Boulevard, which apparently was the first restaurant na tinayo na San Serval. And just a little history kasi nakalagay naman dito. So, ancestral home nila yun, tapos ginawang pastry shop. Tapos, at the present time, nag-evolve siya into a restaurant, into a chain of restaurant. So, marami na rin silang options like pasta, um, pasta, rice meals, coffee. And by the way, yung coffee nila dito guys, sobrang mura lang. 65 pesos up to 150 pesos. Meron ka ng hot or cold uh, coffee. And then, nagulat ako kasi ang mura din ng food nila dito. I mean, hindi naman siya yung super cheap, pero for its for its ambience, for its vibes, uh, mura siya. Especially yung in order ko, which is the lemon chicken picata. Yung ano niya, um, a la carte niya, which is the pasta itself, it's 250 pesos. But if you upgrade it to the meal, meron ka ng pasta na in order mo. Meron ka pang iced tea or iced tea or lemonade. Tapos meron ka pang dessert of the day, which is ngayon is cake. Tapos meron ka pang soup or salad. So for 280 pesos, sobrang sulit na nun, guys. done eating. Sobrang sarap ng food guys. I highly recommend to visit San Serval when in Dumaguete. And if you have an option, please do try to visit yung unang San Serval dun sa my boulevard. I'm not saying na don't visit here but if you're here then go here sa Robinson's Place. Yung nasa ano kasi mas special kasi yun yung pinakauna. And ang sarap ng food nila dito guys. I actually had the, the cake for take out kasi I wanted Gianna to try it kasi sobrang sarap niya and mahilig sa sweets yung batang yan so ma-enjoy niya to and then mamili rin tayo ng Silvanas kasi although meron sa Manila no pero iba pa rin yung feeling na bibili ka dito sa Dumaguete or pa sa Lubong so yun visit na kayo dito guys hey guys we are on our way now to the Silliman University actually sa gilid na tayo papunta ng entrance and we went back to the hotel lang para iwan yung mga pinamili natin pa sa Lubong Thank you Bricks Hotel for for the free locker. Iniwan lang ko la, iniwan ko lang sila sa reception para hindi mabigat yung dala natin when we visit the university. Hopefully pwede pang pumasok to view lang naman. And that's the last thing that we're going to do here in Dumaguete. I hope guys you get a chance to treat yourself and visit Dumaguete. Konting walk lang from the hotel and you will see Joe's Chicken in Ato. And then, yan, malapit lang dito yung entrance. So here's the entrance. At pala yung road na to. Malaki kasing university siya. But we're going to enter on that gate. Kasi dyan yung museum. Hey guys, we're able to make it inside the university. They're not open pala ng Saturday and Sunday. From Mondays to Fridays, open ang museum ng until 5pm. So, bilisan na natin kasi 4.30 na. And we're right in front of the church and in front of the Hebard Hall. And I will show you who Hebard is. This is the statue of David Sutherland Hebard. He is the one who founded the Silliman University and was the first president from 1901 to 1930. At his back is the Hebard Hall. And we're going inside kasi dun yung location ng Anthropology Museum. We're going to check it out. Nakita ko na siya before but I also wanted you to see it and si kuyang nasa bintana si sir nakaabang kasi inaabangan niya ako kasi hanggang 5pm lang yung museum so tara pasok na tayo
Grabe ang ganda nito ang intricate ng pagkakadesign sa kanya. So this is called Gedur. It's a jar-like container to store dowry items. the Anthropology Museum of Siliman University for you guys. I hope one day you get to visit this beautiful museum of a lot of pieces from the history and I think it's essential for you to learn about your roots and yep, I hope one day you get to visit Siliman University, the Anthropology Museum and Dumaguete as well. Hey guys, it's time. We're about to leave for the airport already. This caps off our Dumaguete adventures. I hope one day you get to visit this beautiful city and allow yourself to experience its beauty because you deserve it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please do let me know and I'll answer them in the comment sections. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe and follow me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!